I have tested all the AI motion graphic generators out there to save your time and money. And in this video, I will show you my top picks. So these motion graphics you see right here are not created by a video editor professional. Instead, I created those with a simple text input within just seconds. So now let me show you the top tools and how to create these motion graphics. And you'll find links to the free trials in the description of the video. So the first inclusion on the list today is Hira Video. And to get started, just head over to Hira.video, then sign up, hit create and new project. And then just copy paste a prompt into this view. And just as an example, here I'm creating an animation or a motion graphic of this quote, design is intelligence made visible. And here I'm basically just telling what I want to do here. And don't worry about the prompt. You don't need to be a prompting genius. Just ask ChatGPT. Then just hit create and the AI starts to process it. And here is the result. And by the way, you can change the aspect ratio right over here. So you can just literally turn this into a short form content video or to a long form content video with this slider over here. And here you see the animation we just created. What you can do here is quite a few things. So this already looks decent to me actually, but I have a couple of issues. Well, first of all, if I want to say design is intelligence made visible, I don't want it to take 15 seconds as it did here. So we can actually tweak the animation duration to be only five seconds. And now you can see that it already looks a lot better. And I would say that this still feels a bit slow. So what you can do is you can just enter the chat here and tell the AI to make it even faster. And there we have it. So as you can see, now it's actually something that you might have the patience to look at. So it only takes like a second for the AI to render this. But now here's where it gets to a different level. So not only do you get to create one of these videos, but you also get to interact with a canvas. So as you can see, every piece of content here is actually something you can tweak. So we just selected all these pieces over here, and now we can drag and drop these to make them bigger or smaller. And obviously I can just pick them individually and move them around so I can create some space over here. And just as you do it, it will instantly be reflected in the video. So here you can see that everything that I just changed it is there and now the video looks a lot different than the original one. So my favorite feature on Hira is not just the fact that you can create a project from scratch, but that you can actually use these templates that other creators have built for you. And now I will show you a really, really cool animation style that you can pick from these templates. And we'll pick the simple map animation satellite. Let's click on that. And then you have to click here to use the template. And for some reason, they don't show how these templates are built. What are the prompts? So that's a bit inconvenient, but whatever you get to use these templates. So that's all that matters. And now just an example, let's make this kind of a map highlight animation to target Finland, which is my home country. So I can just say highlight Finland, white glowing border color, and let's hit send. But now we have a couple of problems here that are actually very easy to fix. And I will show you just how. So first of all, I'm not seeing the whole country. So let's just tell the AI to make it visible as a whole. So let's say show the whole Finland, not just a part of it. And here is our result. So now it's actually showing the entire country, not just a small portion of it. But now let's make it even cooler. So instead of just colorizing the country, let's add some more animations to it. So I'm telling the AI to first show the whole world, then zoom in on Finland, then highlight the country and then show that for a second and then zoom in on the capital that is Helsinki. And I even told it to add a yellow pointer on top of Helsinki and write Helsinki next to it. And now before I hit enter, there's one more thing I need to do. So now I don't want to limit this to five to or 10 seconds. I actually want to use the auto feature so it can decide the video optimal duration itself and then we can just hit enter and let the AI create this. And now here is the result. So first it's showing the entire planet, then it is zooming in on Finland and showing Finland for a second before it zooms in again. And now it zooms in on Helsinki and it even highlights the capital. So now the only issue here, well, first of all, I didn't really like this when I thought that it would show the world as a globe. So we could tell it to fix that. But I'd say that the bigger issue here is the font over here. So you can barely see what it says here. So let's just drag and drop it onto the frame. Then I will just make the text Helsinki bigger. 
and I can also make this small dot bigger. And now let's rerun this portion of the animation again. That is so much better, isn't it? Now you can clearly see what it actually says. So my favorite workflow is to go to Hira, click create and use a template because these ones actually allow you to do these pre-built templates that are commonly used in motion graphics. So you don't need to prompt this yourself and you don't need to basically trial and error this through yourself. And now when it comes to the workflow of Hira, I recommend using this mega plan with unlimited prompts. Because if you do the standard with 200 prompts or even the pro that I have with 500 prompts, you're going to run out of prompts very quickly because a typical workflow includes sending the initial prompt and then you have to tweak the elements. You might want to rerun the same prompt a couple of times and you also might want to use a prompt to control the scene a couple of times as well. So even on a basic motion graphic design, you might need to prompt at least five to up to 20 times. Then as the next awesome AI motion graphic generator on the list today, we have a tool called openart.ai. And you'll find a link to it in the description. And now let me show you how to use it and how it differs from Hira, for example. So first of all, just sign up and head over to this image section. So you can start by creating a couple of photos. So we can, for example, tell the AI to create an image of the coolest motion graphic ever of a map in a documentary style in a dramatic way where a country is highlighted in a red glowing borderline color. And if I hit create, it will create me a bunch of images. And for example, here is one of the results. And now I will show you where this is going to. So we need to create another one. So let's download this photo and let's drag and drop the image into this view. And once the image has loaded, let's give it a prompt that says, remove the red outline and coloring of the country in this image. And let's also choose Nano Banana as our model and let's hit create again. And here is the result. But the idea here is that we give the AI video generator an image like this as the starting frame and this as the ending frame. And that way we'll, we will be able to create this kind of a super cool motion graphic. So now let's go back to open art and do that. So now we're here, let's go video and let's choose VEO3 from the list. We can use the latest VEO 3.1 model. And now you can see that we can drag and drop a start frame and an end frame into the view. So let's start by dragging and dropping in the borderless country image as the starting frame. And then let's choose the end frame over here and let's drag and drop the bordered cool looking image over here. And now you can either just hit create or you can tell the AI what you wanna do. For example, draw the border and colorize the country. And now let's hit create. And here is the result. And it also has the sound effects and everything. That's pretty cool, huh? Well, now the only problem here is that this is not based on an actual map. So this country does not represent any specific country. So if you wanted to do this reliably, you would also need to have an image of your specific country. And you'd also might want to draw the lines or something like that to give the AI an idea of what it's supposed to draw. So this one's a bit trickier than Hira. But now let's move on to another example. So I have a website called codinggem.com and here's the logo and the color theme of the website. And now what I want to do for one of my courses is to animate this logo and add a text that says welcome to learn programming or something like that. So now all I need to do is once again head back to open art and then just drag and drop this image into the view. I don't need to give a specific end frame and then I will tell something like animate the logo and make it say welcome to learn coding below. So as you can see a very simple and basic prompt and if we hit create it will take a while to render the animation and after about a minute or two here is the result. learn programming online. But now here's where we start to have problems. So here is a really cool looking blog post animation that I was able to pull off in Hira in just a couple of prompts and attempts. It seems no matter how hard I try here on open art, the result goes to something like this.
no matter what I try, <laughs> it seems to not obey my command. So it changes the original blog post to something else. And also it has this blue, I don't even know what that is called, like segment over here. And then it is just changing my name and creating some random text over here. Obviously, I'm pretty sure if I tried hard enough, I would be able to produce something like this. But it is already a lot harder and spends way more credits than I wanted <laughs> to create just a result like this. Open arts models are not good when it comes to handling text. So if they have to generate longer pieces of text than just a couple of words, it might start to look something like this. And then speaking of problems, so if you remember in Hira, you can actually adjust these elements on fly. So you can literally move any element around and access all these different layers over here to remove and adjust elements. Obviously, you can't do stuff like that on open art. The closest you get is if you go to one of your images and you hit the edit button so you can edit your input images either on a chat-based editor or by using some of these presets. But this is not nearly as powerful as Hira as it allows you to tweak basically everything. But that's enough for the negatives. One thing you can do in OpenArt is that you can use one of these AI video generator models that you have over here to create these kind of procedural motion graphics or whatever they are called like this. Or, for example, something like this. And by the way, these two are both just one simple sentence that I sent to the AI. So it is very easy to create stuff like this. And also, I love the fact that these include the sound effects. And then as the next tool on the list, we have Hagen that just dropped this new prompt based motion graphic designer tool. All you need to do to get started is sign up to Hagen.com and you will find a free trial link in the description of the video. And once you're here, just click try it out on the top right corner and then choose one of these templates or upload your design. And first, let's try this template. So I like this terminal window style motion graphic thing. So let's do this and let's create one for my website called codinggem.com and let's hit generate assets. Now the AI takes a while to render it. After about two minutes, here is the result. I mean, come on, I think that looks super cool. Although this is pretty restricted because there are only a couple of templates, so I will definitely have to try something more. But this one, it actually nailed pretty much perfectly. So I could definitely use this as an animation for one of my videos or stuff like that. Now, instead of just using these couple of templates we have, let's actually try this on our own design. So here is an image that I want to turn into a smooth looking motion graph. Because this is an image, the tool doesn't actually accept it. So you need to turn this into a video. And I think the best way to do this is by just screen recording this for like five seconds and then saving it as MP4 and then dropping it into the view. So let's try to see what happens if we do that. Okay, so now I just did that. So this is literally just a seven second clip of this image basically. And now I can drag and drop this into the view. And because I don't feel too creative today, I just dropped the image into ChatGPT and told it to turn this into a prompt that I can send here to turn this into a motion graphic. And now let's see what happens. Oh yeah, and after about three minutes, here is what the result looks like. So if you compare it, here was the input video. So here we have this kind of a cool looking background and stuff like that. So the AI extracted um, the parts that it thinks are relevant to the motion graphic and it put it in this way. So I think this looks pretty cool. So here you get to see consistent results based on these designs or based on your own designs. So you can literally create one of these super cool looking AI motion graphics where you don't have any AI quirkiness going on. So it looks like it has been put together by a professional motion graphic designer. And although the design library is very limited, the idea here is that you have one of these designs yourself and you will just enter it into this view and the AI will then turn that into a motion graphic based on the design. So you can do your brand colors, any one of your templates, and that will work perfectly.